Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can rewrite some exponential functions. So we can identify what is the actual percent uh, decay or percent growth. So we have two examples, one where it's going to give us a percent of decay and one where it's going to give us a percent of growth. And in order to rewrite these exponential functions, we need to understand some of our exponent rules uh, that we learned previously in Algebra 1, so I'll link a video to that in the cards right now. All right, number one, we have y equals a times 0 0.5, and we're raising it to the t divided by 13th power. So what we want to do is we want to use our exponent rule that says basically uh, we can break apart this exponent, t divided by 13, and we can write it as 1 over 13 times t. So how it's going to look is like this. We're going to say y equals a, and then we can do times 0 0.5 to the 1 over 13, and then we're going to raise that to the power of t. Because if we were to see this, then we could say, okay, this is like two powers uh, next to each other. So there's a product, uh, an exponent rule that says we could multiply those powers together. So that would be t over 13. So essentially we are undoing that multiplication there, okay? So now what we can do is, is evaluate 0 0.5 to the 1 13th power in our calculator. So 0 0.5 to the 1 13th. And that gives us a decimal and I'll write that on the screen, just kind of rounding it. So that's going to be 0 0.9481 to the t, okay? And that's what our exponential function would look like. Um, and now we can identify if this were decay or growth. Well, we see the number that we have inside of our parentheses, right? Well, if that's less than 1, then we know we had percent decay, or it was, it was decay, um, exponential decay. Um, if that were greater than 1, that would be percent growth, because we know for exponential growth, our equation is 1 plus r. Um, so our rate or our uh, growth factor would be greater than 1, whereas for exponential decay, our equation says 1 minus r, so our uh, decay factor would be less than 1, and that's what we see right here. So essentially to figure out what our percent decay was, we could just take 1 minus 0 0.9481, and that'll give us our percent decay. Okay, so 1 minus, I'm using my calculator here, 0 0.9481, and that gives me 0. 0.0519, and now to change that to a percentage, let's just multiply that by 100, and we get 5.19%, and this would be decay, okay? All right, now let's take a look at number two. We have y equals a times two to the eight t power. So we're gonna do the same thing and break this apart, so y equals a times two to the eighth power, and then we're gonna raise this to the power of t. So once again, if we saw that, we could simplify that to being a power of 8t. We're kind of undoing that property of exponents there. So now we can simplify this to y equals a times 256, because 2 to the 8th power would be 256, to the t. So that would be our exponential function um, once we've simplified it. And so now we see, okay, that number is 256. That is a lot larger than 1, so this was exponential growth. So essentially, you know, we had 1 plus r and that gave us 256. So basically, what did we add to one to get 256? Well, we added 255, right? And so now we're gonna actually write that as a decimal, and so we're gonna move that decimal, or excuse me, as a percentage. So we're gonna multiply by 100, and it's actually gonna become 25,500% growth, okay? So extremely large growth. Um, but that is what the equation is telling us, okay? And that is how you can rewrite some exponential functions.